Oh, good morning. Uh, Jim Waits here. <laughs> I, uh, I have a little video I uh, wanted to put together uh, for those that are enthusiasts uh, of uh, speed keys or vibroplex bugs. Uh, for those that aren't uh, radio operators or telegraph operators, the bug is a kind of a, a slang term uh, for a semi-automatic telegraph key. Uh, this is a key uh, that makes, uh, uh, of course, the dots automatically and the dashes manually. It was uh, developed by a man named uh, Horace Martin, who had developed a uh, malady called uh, telegrapher's paralysis. And, of course, uh, today we know that uh, malady is uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. But uh, anyway, what I'm going to do here is send two quotes uh, from uh, Herbert Hoover, uh, uh, one of uh, which is uh, uh, from his memoirs, a uh, humorous story about uh, radio amateurs. And then, of course, uh, the second one, of uh, which is uh, uh, deals with uh, great issues and, uh, and uh, is broader and uh, more noble in its, uh, in its tone. Uh, so I'm going to send uh, a bit here, and uh, uh, first two uh, quotes, an international uh, Morris, uh, or continental code, as it's often called. And uh, then I might send a bit of uh, text in the American Morris Code, uh, so uh, you'll get a chance to hear, uh, hear both. So uh, let's see if we can do this the right way. Uh, uh, I want to state that uh, this key here is serial number uh, 677. It's a very early telegraph key, uh, probably dates to the first year of manufacture, 1905 or so. Might have even been uh, assembled by Horace Martin himself. Uh, this uh, is not a daily driver for me. Uh, it sits in a glass display case, so I, I set it up. I, I think it's set up correctly. Uh, but just keep in mind that, uh, number one, I'm not used to uh, using it. And number two, you might see uh, an occasional split dot or, or something of that nature, uh, simply because it hasn't uh, really been used. Uh, but again, a lot of history in it uh, passed on through three generations of commercial telegraph operators from a... Uh, a a, man, uh, a grandfather uh, to then to uh, his brother and then to a son and uh, it's uh, certainly seen a lot of history and if only it could talk so uh, hopefully I'll do it justice today and you get a chance to see this very early bug at work you can see uh, even the uh, wedge cord here is uh, well it's seen a lot of life <laughs> life experience as has the wedge uh, so uh, let's uh, give it a whirl and see how this video comes out.
Okay, uh, those were the two quotes in uh, International Morse, and uh, I'll repeat the second quote in American Morse code, uh, uh, just uh, so you can kind of hear the difference. Now remember, uh, American Morse uh, uh, really sounds natural on a telegraph sounder, uh, but uh, of course I don't have one of those readily available. Uh, it's on the other side of the uh, room here. Uh, and, of course, most uh, radio amateurs uh, uh, can't copy on a sounder, uh, even international code on a sounder. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is send it in tone uh, using the American Morse code, which, of course, is the original Morse code uh, developed by Morris and Vail. And uh, it's the one that was commonly used in commercial telegraphy here in uh, North America, U.S., Canada, Mexico, etc. Uh, so uh, I'm going to send this uh, second quote again in American Morris, and uh, let's see how that goes.
Okay, so uh, those uh, that's the, uh, the second quote repeated in American Morse code. Uh, just so you can kind of hear the difference. And, and American Morse code's about 10% faster uh, than international. You may have sensed that uh, in the video. So anyway, uh, with that, uh, again, just a, a demonstration of uh, this uh, very uh, historic uh, telegraph key. Uh, at least I think it's historic, uh, considering that uh, uh, it's uh, early serial number and the fact that it was probably assembled in the, the very first year of production. And, of course, uh, undoubtedly it's seen a lot of history uh, not just uh, around itself, but a lot of history probably passed through the key itself. Uh, back when the telegraph operator was, uh, was uh, a key component in the transmission of news and information around, uh, around the nation. So uh, thank you for viewing. And so with that, I'll say 73, an international code. Oh, let's do it this way. I'll put this back by the, the oscillator. 73 in International Morris, and 73 in American Morris. And uh, thank you for watching.